and he has sent us a check. Amen. He said he wanted to sow into our lives. And the thing about it was that check was what we needed mm -hmm. because the state of Alabama didn't send down that week. Mm -hmm. So the baby could have milk. He said, well, what's that all about? But I can't live without giving. I, 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 I can't live without giving. The, the lifestyle that I chose to live, I could not live it if it was not for giving. Amen. Amen. Because God gives back to me. Amen. I, I lie not to you. God gives back to me. And see, I'm telling you all that tonight so that you can start reaching down and saying, God, I want, you know, we tell God all the time what we want. But is you willing to invest in what you want? Are you willing to invest in your dreams? Amen. You can't go down to the car lot and buy a car without investing. You have to first make an investment. And all the things that God is saying tonight, see, I, I, I want you all to understand, God is a God that will meet you where you are. But God is also a God that says there is the condition. You must meet the condition. Right. Tonight you are in the right position. Right. But are you willing tonight to meet the condition? Amen. Praise the Lord, because if you want God to give unto you, you have to also be willing to give. My granddaddy used to say, you can't put nothing in a closed hand. All right. Amen. Because you can stand here all night. Give me God, give me God, give me God. And your hand's still closed. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Let's pray, man. Amen. Our Father, which I have, we come before you in the name of Jesus. As you bless this offering. Bless the one that gave, even bless the one that didn't have to give. Now, Father God, we ask you to keep blessing this service. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on, give God a hand praise. Amen. While the prophet is making a transformation, amen, to be more comfortable, amen. I'm going to help you. I just want to help you out a little bit because we're going, we down, we're going down an avenue now. Y'all, we have been preaching ever since January 1 about a shifting. Okay, now the shift don't come, you know, it's getting a little. But see, the years before you were preached to about prophecy is right now condition, meet the condition. So therefore, if a prophet is coming to the house and begin to prophesy to you, you know what, we ought to be praising God because somebody ain't here to meet the condition. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I tell you, amen. And we've got to be open in our minds to receive. To receive what God is doing even now. Amen. And while we in this intermission, Sister Yama, can you come up, baby, and uh, bring us to a whole yeah, yeah. Sister Young going to come and give us a cultural experience. Or, you know, see how God just work things out. God just work things out. When you let God do what he do, he will work things out. Amen. I had my little old jitter and then prophet said, I'm ready right now. And who can argue with God? But see how God said, now. Nah. Break. Break time. And we got intermission. Amen. Amen. All glory to God. Praise yeah. the Lord, everybody. How y'all doing? All right. Good. I am Sister Yomi, and yes, we were on the program to do a little something, something, but you know, we work with God. We work with the Spirit. Um, Sister Omega and I just wanted to do a um, an African welcome. I am a cultural artist. Um, I'm living in Selma, Alabama. I met the pastor and other members um, out in Montgomery at a couple of conferences that we attended. And so the last one was on race. And so she said to me, well, I'm doing a women. No, I said to you, you still ain't got me to Alexander City yet when I'm coming. Uh -huh. She said, well, you coming real soon because I got a women's conference coming. Mm -hmm. And she said, you just come and do what you, what you need to do. Um, so this evening, we're just going to share a Welcome, um, song and dance from my country, Nigeria, West Africa. Tomorrow we have a special message being brought to our sisters, so we're very excited about that. So we'll be um, inviting in the spirit of Mama Harriet Tubman. So all of you that are in presence tomorrow will have an opportunity to experience that. This is my partner in crime, Sister Omeka. She's the drummer girl. Y'all say Sister Omeka. Sister Omeka. Give us the beat. Give us the beat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, put y'all hands together like this. Under the fear, I say, I say. Under the 
tell you, then we get ready to bring the prophet back up. I don't know about y'all, but you know, I just get so upset when I see black women dance and they scared to move their hips. Uh-uh. Amen. I, I get so tired. I said, that's that European in you. And keep up, praise the Lord. That's all right. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I saw Sister Ann over there. All right, Sister Ann. Got contest to help culture. Yeah. I said, oh, good. Yeah. You're feeling black up in here. Spread it the fire, amen. 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 We put the fire out. Let's do the smudger part so we can walk up out of here. <laughs> See, after you get burned and you're going through all that stuff and the fire get pulled out and you just start to, to heal it just a little more, you know, that's when the smut come around. Have yeah. anybody ever seen the smutty situation? After that got so wet, the smut become to mud, and then you barely can't see your way through. See, a fire is a hurtful thing. It used to be a dangerous thing, but now we're living through the fire, we just barely going on. And while we're going through the fire, we're losing our identity of who we are because we got so much pain in us. And people just don't understand what not took place in our life. And then when they, they turn, they want to talk about it. But see, they, what they don't understand is when they begin to talk about it, it begins to take a connection. Because you gotta understand that the world is not flat, it is round. And, what, and so, so you put out, you share everything. Right. And the same hurt that she may be going through, I promise you, before you leave this world, you're gonna go through it too. But then when your time comes, it's gonna be so unbalanced to you because you ain't gonna understand. Because when God was giving you a chance to understand what was going on with the fire, you wanted to throw the water on it before you can get it out good. So you only went through the smoke. But you know what, I just want to talk about going through the smoke mm. without getting burned. Mm. Cause see what we don't understand is that even when the smoke come, that some of the fire still brooding up in the smoke because some of the sticks and some of the wire, it still got some power still left in it that controlling our mind. So the Bible says, let that mind that be in of God be in of you. And once somebody take control of that mind by you not got hurt so much, that's when the fire start all over again because you can't go on to your next destination because you too worried about who done hurt you and why they have literally peeked into your future and see where God is about to take you at. You can't go nowhere because you stuck like Chuck. <laughs> Chuck moving on to the next level of his life. Chuck got a whole brand new family going on and you still sitting around worrying about what Chuck doing. Yeah. So when God get ready to bless you and send something new into your life because the devil has literally peeked into your fruit and see where you finna go at, you can't get past when, when Chuck left you yet. So God say, hold on, what? Because, because you haven't lost your identity, I can't bless you until you get it together. Come on up, sweetheart. Amen. Girl, let me tell you something. I looked at you back there doing all that then and I got tired. <laughs> Isn't God good? But you have not seen what God is going to do for you. God say all your trials and your trouble, what you went through wasn't in vain. Even the tears that you stood up and you cried when you had nowhere to go from the left to the right. And everybody had their part of the way from you. God say I put you in a moment of a lonely season. Because, mm, because of your inheritance and who you called to be. They don't know who you are, but I do. 
opposite and not trying the spirit by the spirit. They're looking at the flesh and can't connect with the spirit. And the spirit is keep on crying, saying, why don't you go this way? And by the Lord say, tell her you're trying to fit in where you don't belong. God say, as of this night, as of this night, no mean knowing if you don't like it, they can shut the dust off their feet and move on. God says, stop compromising with the devil. And what I mean, stop trying to please people. Because where God finna take you at, there are some people that don't, ain't gonna know what to do when you get there. Because they don't understand where you came from. They, had, they are clueless because they so spoiled and But if I not be the prophet that stands up here tonight, God getting ready to shift your whole atmosphere. God getting ready to shift your life. God getting ready to shift some stuff around you. And God getting ready to take you to the next level. I also see traveling around you. I see God connecting. You're being connected. You're being connected to go to some places. And God is putting favor. Favor. God is giving you the hand of favor. And there are some things that you were seeking to do and you was turned down. God said, go back and try it again. Because I done lined up favor in this thing. Do you have any idea what I'm talking about? They turned it down. God said, go back. He said, this time go alone. Don't take that person back with you. And God says, shut your mouth. Because the blessing that I'm giving you, the one, two, you got like four major people you deal with. And God say, the blessing that I'm giving you, enough is enough. Because two of them don't do nothing but use you. Thank you, Jesus. Enough is enough. They're taking your kindness. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't play with you. If they don't stop, if they don't stop, because they are, they are clueless to who your grandparents was. They are clueless to who your mother was. You look like your grandfather on your father's side. And he was a very powerful man. You come from a very powerful swab. I hear the Lord say, try, try, that's what it is, try. You come from a very powerful tribe. There are some gifts that inside you, people don't even know who you are. But see, you can't, there is gift that you cannot take away. Because you didn't give those gifts to you. Your moms and dad didn't give them to you. Your grandmother and them didn't give them to you. You just inherited from grandmoms them. And they inside you. God says, see what you see and don't let nobody take it away. Know what you know and don't let nobody take it away. And I got my hands on your stomach like this for a reason. Because he says, stir up the gift. Stir up the gift. You have many great ideas on what to do. That dancing is just one of them. Are you already got your own school? Let's break the curse tonight. Because you're supposed to be a millionaire by now. You're supposed to be a millionaire by now. You are very good at what you do. Other people some money and they were supposed to give you some and they left you hanging. Oh, I feel anointed on her. I need you to do that one more time. How you feeling, Mama? How you breathing coming along? We've been in here how many hours and she ain't put that thing back on yet? 
We bind this up right now. No more tightness. Them little sharp pains. And even, let me see. Like, like this hand sometimes give out on you. Yeah, Jesus. 